This is calculator question number 31 from practice test 6 in the 2018 SAT prep, prep book from College Board. It's also the April 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a word problem about friends sharing a vacation's price. And they say the total cost is of 800 is divided equally. So let's say n equals number of friends in the original group and x equals cost per friend if they all go. So nx equals 800. And we want to solve for the number of friends. We're going to solve for n. So I'm going to solve this equation for x. x equals 800 over n. Once the two friends drop out, the cost, number of friends minus 2, times the price, the original price plus 20, is still equal to 800. And I have an expression I can substitute in for x, the original cost. So n minus 2, 800 over n plus 20 equals 800. I could solve that algebraically, but it's much faster to solve it on the calculator. Anytime you have an equation with only one variable, put the left side in y1, right side in y2, and find the intersection. I'm going to make my y max 1,000 so I can see 800. I'm going to make my x max 20 just to make sure I can see the number of friends. And I'm going to put in n as x. So on the left side, I have x minus 2, 800 over x plus 20. On the right, for y2, I have 800. I hit graph, and the graph looks something like this. with a point of intersection here. And I'll use the graph and calculator capabilities to find the point of intersection. That's second, and then the trace button for calculate. Choice five is intersect, and I hit enter three times, and it says x equals 10, but x is n, so if n equals 10, where n is the number of friends originally. Now let's see how that worked out. 10 friends were going to dis Divide the $800 cost equally, so that's 800 over 10 equals $80 each. If two of them drop out, it's $800. Divided among eight friends is $100 each, which is, in fact, $20 more per person. So this answer does make sense, and they were asking for the number of friends in the group originally, so we would grid in 10. College Board often gives you word problems like this, so practice them, especially practice reading them to figure out what they're asking for. And come back soon for my next math video, with math there's always more.